Hi everyone, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today I am going to be organizing the space here under the sink, this cabinet space here. I actually took out a box or a bin already and I'm going to be filming the rest. Now I want to address also this area here near the closet. That's the door to our closet. If you see that there's a wall there perpendicular to it, I want to address that area because right now it seems like there's potential here. I want an additional organizer or place where I can store things. So I think for practicality, I am just going to put something here instead of just a towel bar or even a painting or art piece. I'm going to put something there that I can also utilize. So it's functional as well as pretty. So here is the solution that I figured would work best for this space. This is not too wide and it is also not too deep. Okay, it's tall enough for us to have space vertically and it is skinny enough to fit in the space. This bathroom tower is the perfect size for this area here so that it will not block the way to the closet. I like that it's tall as well as the upper half has the open shelving so that I can actually kind of display things there and decorate and the bottom part has a door that I can conceal or hide things that I don't want to be in plain sight. I like that the shelves are adjustable. All I need to do is move those pegs underneath and then just adjust the height. There are multiple holes there that I can use to place the shelves. So I will be organizing this as well as under the sink, but I'll start off with the under the sink, the big problem. Excuse the mess here, everyone. I know I love to do organization videos like DIY organizers. Main reason is because I have organization problems. So like I said, I already removed one bin. That's why the left side under the sink has a little bit of space more than on the right. So I am just going to be taking out everything and then I am going to be cleaning it up. And then I'm going to be putting some organizers here. Mostly I purchased at the Dollar Tree and the 99 cents only store. I'm just going to be cleaning it. I'm not going to remove or replace the shelf liner or the contact paper there because it's still in good condition. It's not ripped or stained. All I need to do is just clean it up. Before I put away things, I am testing out first the organizers if they're going to fit because there are some knobs there for the hot and cold water and not to mention that bulky drain pipe at the center is obstructing a lot of the areas there but of course it's a necessity and that's why I need to work around it. First of all the ones that are on top here these are the bins that I got at the Dollar Tree around springtime and then this bin here is $1.99 from the 99 cents only store. So I'm going to be using this for my overflows. And then under it is a wire drawer that I got from Ross. And then on the left, I am using this kind of a shelf riser that I got at the 99 cents only store so that I can put items underneath it. Also a tray up above it and then there are two more of the skinny containers from the Dollar Tree that I have placed this way. So I'm just going to be trying a few more things here because I want to make sure that I maximize the space. So this one is from Daiso. It has a handle and I think it fits perfectly there if I place it there and it wouldn't block the knob. However, I think I'm going to use this one that I got at Walmart a few years ago and all I'm going to do is pull out the shelf here and I can put more items compared to the ones that I originally tested. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to be testing out a few things before I come up with the final setup. Like this filing bin here. 
the clear filing bin from Daiso. Those two pink book organizers are from the Dollar Tree. So this is the final configuration that I think would maximize the space and that will give me more storage compared to the other ones that I've tried. I don't mind mixing colors. I actually like the vibrant pink with the teal and blue and of course the muted white. So let's fill this up. I'm going to be using this white baskets, tray baskets that I got at the Dollar Tree and they're a dollar for a pack of three and they come in different sizes so this one here is skinny or narrow enough for me to be able to put some of my extra toothbrushes this clear bin that can be closed will be a space to organize my extra supplies so this is not going to be accessed daily it will only be accessed when I need to replenish some of my supplies. And this clear file bin here that I got at Daiso, I'm putting in some facial cleanser. And those are my extra supplies as well. And then here underneath in this wire mesh drawer that I got at Ross, I put some small tray baskets that I got at the Dollar Tree. And that's where I'm putting my other supplies for my facials my hair color, as well as my toothpaste. Next, the blue bin, I'll put all the cotton stuff, the cotton swab, the cotton earbuds, the cotton face swabs, all cottons. And then now I'm going to be organizing the two pink bins and I'm going to be putting there some of the products that I am going to be using to treat my melasma, separating them from the other facials. So these are Miracle Hand Foot Cream. There. Okay. I suppose I should be good now. These are all my necessities. Now these are the ones that I kind of use on a daily basis after I take a shower. Sometimes I put some coconut oil on my hair while my hair is wet. This is body butter and then some lotion there. And then, of course, my roll-on. And this is to smoothen the heel. So I just put that here after I take a shower. And then this is a lotion. So that's it for this one underneath my sink. Here's what I'm left with. These are just trash. Yeah, anything that I can put in the recycling bin of the boxes, I will put them there. Anything that I can't, of course, will just go into the trash. Next, I want to show you what I've done with this bath tower. I am loving this. So I am able also to decorate one of the shelves because I have so much space left after purging my under the sink. So I put a clock here also because we want to know the time. <laughs> and then I have those faux flowers or plants that I got at the 99 cents only store. And that mason jar candle is from the Dollar Tree this sign here a nice hot bath will fix about anything it's a gift for my daughter and those two fake succulents are from the dollar tree and i love how it looks like it's so spa like and these are the towels that we're using the face and hand towels i place them in the this teal tray basket that i also got at the dollar tree and then it fits perfectly here. I can actually put more on top if I want to. And on the taller shelf, what I've done here is I place three extra towels in case we need extras or replenish our existing towels if they get dirty. And what I've done is I position them standing up rather than lying on their side so that they won't roll over. And in the bottom half of this Power are the other supplies. On the top are the bar soaps that we use. My husband loves Irish Spring. And in this Dollar Tree bin, I also have my sanitary napkins and my wet wipes. And at the very bottom, we have extra supplies of toilet paper. 
and then this container has some white liquid shower soap that we use so that's an extra for us having the extra storage here really helps so that when we run out of supplies we don't have to run to the laundry area or the laundry room on this upper floor where we keep most of our bulk items and of course that's not going to be in plain sight because it's covered by a door so far this product is very sturdy i will be adding the link to the product in the description box below and also the code because you will be able to get a discount in case you decide you want this product for yourself as well so that's it everyone i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel welcome and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and click that notification bell as soon as you see it so that you will not miss any of my new videos leave me some comments down below and don't forget to share to anyone who may be interested in this type of videos hope you all are having a great day talk to you again on my next video take care everyone bye bye